tell me. You no. better you better tell me. You I I, I, I keep I, 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 I keep telling right you I didn't. I didn't. You, you ate the last piece of bait. No, no, I swear I Just, didn't, man. I didn't. Welcome to College and Bacon. I am Jason. And I'm Eric. You know, I would like to sit here and tell you that I know how to catch a liar when I see one. Mm. But I really don't know how. I, I mean, the, people have lied to me before, and it just, yeah, I'm, it's, I'm pretty gullible. It's, I don't know about you. It's very hard to tell sometimes, because a lot of times they play it off yeah. very easily. They don't have a lot of tells. But but the thing is, you could train yourself to be mm. you know, a better lie detector, I guess you could say. There, there are signs that you can look for. Like perspiration and no eye contact, yeah, different what? things such as that. A lot of fidgeting. A lot of fidgeting, right? That's another big one. Apparently, all those go right over my head every time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, tonight we're going to be playing a game to test how good we are at detecting lies. Here's how this is going to work Person mm. A will say something to Person B, and it will either be the truth or a lie. Person B uh, can then ask up to three follow-up questions, three follow-up questions and then has to guess whether person A was lying or telling the truth. If they get it correct, they get a point. Obviously, if they don't yeah. get it correct, they don't get a point. Then person A and person B switch roles. Okay. Okay? And uh, we'll be doing a total of three rounds, and whoever has the most points at the end of the game yeah. wins. So I guess in a way, we're not only testing how good we are at detecting lies, yeah. but how good we are at lying itself yeah so we got to keep up a nice straight face be able to have constant eye contact be able to convince the other person that that actually happened that's right mm -hmm. let's get started rock paper scissors to go first let's do it oh! all right eric you all go right. first all right i will tell you something about me give me the statement I'm going to watch your every move. Nothing's going undetected. I once fell in a great lake. In a great lake. Mm -hmm. How old were you? Fourteen? All right, that doesn't really help me because everybody forgets their age when they did yeah, stuff. Yeah, probably should have thought about <laughs> that before I said it. All right, all right, I'm watching. Who saved you? I saved myself. Hmm. Saved yourself, huh? Mm -hmm. At the age of 14? Yeah. Must have been pretty scared, though, at the age of 14, huh? Yeah. Hmm. And uh, tell me, uh, why were you at the Great Lakes? I was um, visiting the state it bordered. Uh, visiting the state border. Huh? vacation. To the state border. Mm hmm At the age of 14. So at the age of 14, sir... Yeah. You were, I don't even know what grade you were in, but you were 14 years old. I think it was in high school. I'm going to say, I'm going to say you're telling the truth. You're correct. Yes! <laughs> Point on the board for me. <laughs> All right. Woo! Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah. No, it was a uh, family vacation to Ohio, <laughs> and um, we were just kind of on the coastline of Lake Erie, and I slipped on a rock and fell in. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, it's quite all right. It was all quite right. embarrassing, though. Well, now you have a chance to tie all it right. up. You ready? Right. <clears throat> Tell me. In the seventh grade, I got detention for throwing a chicken nugget at one of my friends at lunch. Okay. Seems plausible. Seems like a likely thing to happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who'd you throw that? <sighs> My friend Jack. My friend Jack. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. What else you got? Hmm. Throw them at me. Who caught you? A lunch aid. Lunch aid. Just a lunch aid. He's walking right by me. I didn't even see her behind me, but I threw it right when she was walking right by me, and she just caught me and said, you got three days' detention. Okay. Um. What did your parents have to say about it? They really didn't care. They thought it was stupid. thought it was child's play. I was in seventh grade. They said everybody does it. Hmm. Okay. 
thinking about that, I think you're lying. Final answer. Final answer. You're correct, Eric. Mm. I'm lying. Mm. You had a hole in your story, buddy. <laughs> what was the hole? You said you, first. You said you had a, a. You got detention. Yeah. Right at first, and then later on, you said three days detention. <laughs> okay. okay, Mister. Uh, Mister. Changing the time frame. Good job, though. I'm impressed. All right, we're tied up. I'll, caught you on that line, buddy. Your turn, Eric. All right. Round two. Do your worst. I went to win the shark cage in the Caribbean. I feel like that's something you do. When were you in the Caribbean? High school. How old? 16. You went in a shark cage. I went in a shark cage. Were you by yourself or were you with your family? I went in the cage by myself. It was a family vacation. What did you see when you were down there? Lots of fish, including a couple of sharks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I think you're lying. Think so? Final answer. You're correct. Yes! Mm. Two for two! Mm, all right. Woo! All right, guy. That one I wasn't so sure about because I feel like that's something you would do. Oh, I want to get going a shark. Cage. Not me. <laughs> oh, I would love to go in one. Hell no! All right, it's two to one. You ready for for all right? Yours here. Hit me. When I was younger, mm -hmm. me and my friend made a wooden raft so that we could explore the streams that go through our neighborhood. Which friend? Same friend as the uh, as the other lie that I told. Jack. Jack. <laughs> Jack person even real. That's that's what I need to figure out. Streams in the hell are there streams in your neighborhood? I really did have a friend named Jack. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good to know. <laughs> um, but did I make a wooden boat and try to? Ex obviously, it didn't work. But did I do it? Did I attempt? Obviously, it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> How far did you walk to get to the said stream? It's right around the corner. Right around the corner. We walked there mm -hmm. with a wagon, and that's how we transported the raft. Okay. Hmm. This final question. I I don't know. This one's a bit iffy. Show me what kind of wood you did use. I don't remember. I was young. Okay. Too young to Too care young. about what wood we used. Okay. All right. Now I realize the question I should have asked. Too late. Yep. Too late. Fire away. Am I telling the truth, Eric, or am I lying? Now I'm just going on based on logic here. Very well, you could have built that boat, but I don't think you just did it with your friend. As I recall what questions I should have asked. Too late. <laughs> I think you're lying. Final answer? Final answer. I'm actually telling the truth! All right, all right. You it got was, me. It was with my friend Jack. Okay. And we had this obsession, for whatever reason, of exploring the streams that go through my neighborhood. I don't know where these streams could exist and, in said neighborhood. And we legitimately thought that a wooden boat would float. I don't know why there was I mean, no there was no like foam underneath it. We just tried it and, boats, it and it sank. Boats made out, of, made out of wood all the time. And what's worse is that we had all the neighborhood kids watching. And we just Perfect. got and we just got. So you had all that build up <laughs> to fail. Right. Exactly. All right. all right, Eric. Two to one here. All right. As I we guess. move into round three. Guess I can go to my last one. You ready for this? <laughs> While waiting for the school bus one cold winter morning, a friend of mine told me that he'd give me five bucks to lick one of the uh, the poles, and my tongue got stuck. Ah, Christmas story style. Mm-hmm. Interesting. 
How long were you stuck there? Stuck there for about 10 minutes. How'd they get your tongue unstuck? The kid actually had to go to my my house mm-hmm. and get my mom, and she came out with hot water. Did you get all three questions in yet? No, I still got one left. So Use it wisely, young pet. So you're waiting for the bus. Friend, dare you to lick the pole. All right, let me, let me go through the facts of this case. That isn't You need to get happened. those straight. I, I can He dared you. You licked it. Got you stuck. Correct. There for 10 minutes. Correct. Correct. Okay. And your friend eventually went to your own house to get your mother. Correct. Okay. Where's that bus stop located? On Fox Hill. Fox Hill. Hmm. Okay. As much as I like going three in a row, I think you're lying to me. Final answer? Final answer. Correct! Eric, I am lying through my teeth. What gave it away? I don't know. Ten minutes seemed way too long for that to go on before the bus showing up, to be honest. It's actually kind of funny, because growing up, I was absolutely terrified of that ever happening to me. (laughs) Like, even if someone offered me 50 bucks, that is something I would never, ever do. All right, Eric, it's tied up. All right. It's It's tied up. You got to get this last one. It's either I win or we tie. Yep. Hit me. I was once in the background of a live TV show. Actually, let me rephrase that. In the background of a TV show. Now I realize it wasn't live. It was not live. It was not live. I feel like if you were lying to me, that is a correction that you wouldn't bother to make. Is I feel like if you were lying, you'd just kind of go with the whole live spiel. Think so? Tell me something, Price. What TV show was it? Man vs. Food. Did you get his autograph? I did. What was the challenge that you observed? It was a large pizza, stuffed pizza, eaten by a team of two. I'm going to go with my gut instinct Mm -hmm. about how in the beginning you changed it from live to recorded. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell, I'm going to, I'm going to say that you're telling the truth. Final answer? Final answer. Yeah, you're correct. Yes! Yes! I went three for three! I really, I really debated in my head whether or not I should make that correction, but... Tell me something. After you made that uh, correction, did you regret it? Oh, 100%. (laughs) I'm like, damn it. (laughs) But, like, I didn't want to be wrong. Because technically it was, it was recorded live, but it's not a live TV show. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, three to one, Eric. Not bad. Hey, Good game. I got hand two. Hand you did get two. That, that's Die. right, too. That's right, too. God. Good job. Good job. All right, guys. Well, we want to thank you very, very much for watching. I think we learned something about ourselves. I think so, too. I hope you enjoyed our lies and our truthful stories. We're not bad at lying, man. I, I don't think we are, but... I don't know if that's something to celebrate or, or be ashamed of. Yeah. But regardless, thank you for watching. New episodes every Saturday and Sunday. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. What do we got? Jason is tied to a train track, and Eric has to finish typing a text before saving him. Oh, God. Oh, hey, man, oh, when, when you get around to um, it, there's a train coming. I, look, I, I know oh, you got to finish the text. Li- uh, I'm tied to the uh, tracks. Listen, you know? I'm, I'm like almost done. I, I just, uh, I'm, I, I, I mean, I, I should, you, oh, God, you, typo, you typo. Up. Oh, no. It's oh, getting closer, man. The no, no, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm like about to hit send. I'm like, come on, man. Are you ready? I'm about to finish it. I'm about to. Come on, man.